Welcome back to Carla Astrology. I'm Carla. Thank you for joining me again today. Um, we are going to discuss the plane of Mars today. Um, so we have discussed all of the mounts up to this point except for Mars. Um, so I'm going to show you on my little hand here two different uh, areas that is considered the plane of Mars. And typically Western doesn't really concern too much, um, like doesn't get into all the little auspicious signs that would be covered on the plane of Mars. But you can, like if you see them on your, uh, um, I believe this is the outer and this is the inner. So like signs on here are pertinent. So the great triangle is here, your lifeline, your headline, and your health line or the liver line. So the great triangle and the plane of Mars is your lifeline, your headline, and your health line. So that in there is considered the great triangle. Now, if you notice it bulging a little bit, and by bulging, what I mean is like, when you do this, like I can see a little bit, like my right hand seems a little fatter, whereas my left, not so much. And remember we discussed your uh, potential that you were born with would be your left hand. And then your right hand being your dominant, if you're right-handed, of course, would be what you do with that. And if you are left-handed, it would be just the opposite. Your right hand would be your potential, and then your left hand would be what you do with it. So if you do notice it bulging, if it is bulging in both hands, then that person is going to be more aggressive. And if you notice it in just one, then that person is uh, tends to be more brave and generous. So both is overkill, and one is a good a good medium, a good balance. So if it's broad and the lines are distinct like you can actually see my health line and that that's kind of the i think what they mean like see in this this hand you don't really see my my health line too much so if all the lines are distinct then that person usually is a kinder person because mars is about our our temperament um the next thing I want to show you is called the quadrangle. Let's get this again. The quadrangle is the area between your headline and your heart line. So it's it's all considered the plane of Mars, but it consists of two different parts. So you add that, and that becomes the whole plane of Mars. So from that, and you sometimes you'll notice that even that area kind of, like this area kind of bulges more in this one than it does in this one. So a well-formed quadrangle is somebody that is very straightforward. And if it's all the way across wide, then and say, uh, which <laughs> this one kind of, is <laughs> says th these people can be kind of foolish maybe a little bit obstinate sometimes <laughs> no okay so all right so moving on from that um something that i would like to to point out is the plane of mars in say indian is called the mount of rahu so, and I'm not real familiar with that, but I believe that a lot of the things that I've learned is pretty similar. Mars, again, is about your temperament. So they, they look at that. And again, you can also find stuff about your health 
you know, pertaining to the little lines in your hands, obviously. So, um, and that is kind of, I try to use a little bit of everything that I've learned and kind of make it my own. Um, so here, so this is, um, on the palm side. Oh, I'm sorry. So this, this is the inner, this is the inner, sorry, you can't really see that if I move my hand, can you? This is inner Mars. This is outer Mars. And this is the plane of Mars. And so we got inner, outer. This is also upper and this is lower. So it's kind of strange. <laughs> and, and sometimes hard to remember. At least for, well, for me, it's hard to remember. Maybe not for you. Um, I actually seen that Cairo, um, that C H I E R O, I believe, um, he does have a book that um, you can, it's free. You can um, download it or upload it to your uh, device online. And he actually associates these mounts and um, like your birth date. So not only will he tell you um, in this book what each mount represents, but it say you know whatever your birth date is, there are there's more attributed to the quality of the mount depending on your birthday. So I would definitely recommend checking that out. That I have not done that. So I actually just uh, found it and am going to get into that a little more. Um, and the plane of Mars is, oh my goodness, there's a lot of information on it. So I'm not, I don't really want to put a long video out, but the lower Mars is more about your aggression so lower Mars is going to be like, um, I would say that you might find your warriors have a big, you know, a big area and your, uh, people that maybe might be kind of timid might not have a, a bigger or fleshier fatty, fatty area. Upper Mars or your outer is considered... Um, that's where you find courage, you find calmness and also the warrior, because again, Mars is all the same. It's all about your temper and, you know, how easy to anger you are. Um, so simple terms, we have, uh, lower is aggression. Upper is your resistance to it. And this is your temper. If you have a well-developed Mars, and also these people are your impulsive people, the ones to make the hasty decisions, um, and it's also a sign of aggression. Um, they might easily break things, you know, um, like angry and, you know, they're the ones that, that th you know, throws a frying pan at your head type thing. And color has a lot to do with that. If you notice somebody that has a red, reddish color, they're going to be a little bit more easily angered, obviously, in that area. Um, and if it's overdeveloped, that's, those are the extremely, I would say the leaders are the ones that are ready to go into battle. Um, probably don't really think, you know, before they um, jump into things either because if it, their temper is overruled by their mind or their, their, their mind is overruled by their temper, then that's where that hastiness comes in and they may not be making the best decisions and get themselves into trouble. Hence, theft, robbery, looting, uh, and looting or, um, 
just excessively cruel. Um, so an underdeveloped, yeah, again, I said that if they're, if it's underdeveloped, like somebody that doesn't have much, like I was really, I was born as somebody that, and, and anybody can tell you somebody that really didn't stand their ground. I just took it. Not so much anymore. And you can almost see the difference. Like it's almost flat in the middle there and there. Yeah, it's just, you get, you get a little bit like, okay, I've had enough and it's time to stand up for myself. Um, so, like I said, I don't really want to get too much into, um, the signs on the palms because most of them are the same as what we've already gone over and, um, at this point it would be too confusing because everything is a, an extension of the, uh, the major lines, you know, in your hand. So, and that's, as, that's probably what I will be getting into next. I will start like, maybe we'll pick the heart line. Everybody wants to know what their heart line says about them. So I think in the next video, we will concentrate on the heart line and that's primarily why I'm not going to get into the major auspicious signs that you might find I will tell you that everybody asks about the mystic cross and I think that anyone in this community is going to have one even though they say that it's um, rare I don't believe that it is and it is it is it's just a sign of your gifts it's a sign of your um, you know, uh, your intuition is good. Your, uh, could be psychic, you know, um, we all know that there are eight clairs more than likely you've got quite a few of them. If you see a big cross in the middle of your hand. So is it rare? I do not believe so. I think that sometimes that's a um, a bit of a a bait to reel you in type thing, and you know, get you involved in something. So again, we'll save the the major lines, starting with the heart line for the next video. Um trying to think if I'm gonna if I'm missing anything I guess you know pretty much it would be the same if you have a square in there we'll then say because I was just noticing that when I was talking about the other that there is a square in my palm and again squares are protection so this one shows that yes I've gotten a little bit more aggressive in my older age um, but I'm still protected from that so something thank goodness keeps me from going overboard <laughs> I am getting a phone call. <laughs> so I am going to end that on this note. And um, I love you guys very much. I thank you so much for chiming in. Or I mean for tuning in. And um, I will catch you soon. So have a blessed day.